We've gotten about a foot of really heavy snow today so far. Still snowing. I got home from work. I just finished shoveling the whole driveway. See the amount of snow that's on top of the shavings. It's actually quite a bit more than a foot. We're probably getting towards a foot and a half now. But this is the devastating part. That is the fence to the duck coop. The bird netting collected all the snow and dragged it to the ground. And it's ripping the fence over. And if I can come around the side, you can see it. Oh, and do not worry, I left the ducks inside today, thank God. So it didn't collapse on top of them. As you can see, that's where I normally pull the fence back to go through. I don't even know how I'm going to get in there at this point. See the pond down in there. It's been weighing all the trees down. Most of the trees around are like this. I've watched a couple break in the yard already since I've been home. And the tree is all the way down and touching the ground in there. So i got to figure out how I'm going to get in here and get the snow off. You can see like that big gap over there where the bird netting is all ripped. Um, I'm happier that happy that it ripped before completely taking the fence down, but otherwise the fence is pretty damaged at this point. So i got to figure out what I'm going to do because I obviously have to get to the ducks and I have to fix this. And so we may end up moving the ducks sooner than later to their new home. Because I don't know what we're going to do about this. So wish me luck to even try to get in there and figure this out. see from the other side. The duck coop is over there behind that wall of snow there next to the tree. You can see how devastating. A little hole way in there between the fence and the snow. Really don't know what I'm gonna do here. This is a pretty major problem. Bird netting did good through the other snows. I was worried about this coming up to winter, but uh, the rest of the snow had just gone through it. So I figured it would be okay. I noticed it collecting a little before I left for work this morning, so I just shook it off before I left. Fingers crossed that it would be okay, and I got home, and clearly it was not, and the tree more or less falling in here isn't good either. You can look at the tree over here, and it seems like that's the trunk. Seems like it should stay standing, hopefully. Just all the branches are collapsing over. I wouldn't be surprised if it lost a couple branches. So I figured that out too. But blah. What to do, what to do. Yeah, so now we've come up to check on the campsite, and same thing, all the poor trees are getting bent over like this guy. You can see we've got some limbs down. There's one hanging there. Big guy in front of me. And there was some on the pathway up. Chris said that there's a down tree over there that I couldn't see.
a down birch tree on the property. Not really many up here. Found one dead down below in the woods. Everything's snowy and soaking wet, but this birch bark works great for even when it's wet. Stuff will light right up. And we'll try and get a fire going. And hoping a uh, snowball doesn't fall and take out my whole fire pit here. Snow's been falling all day as it's melting off. It's about 40 something degrees today. Up here trying to get some work done. It's all coming off. Slowly but surely. So we're preparing to put down some uh, roll out vinyl flooring that we picked up from Home Depot. Seemed like a pretty good deal for flooring choices. Uh, it's a six foot by eight foot roll, twenty-five dollars. So we're gonna get three rolls. We only had two that were matching at Home Depot at the time, so we gotta get a third one. But uh, yeah, so seventy-five bucks for the entire floor in here. Hopefully, stuff goes on good. I'll show you how it comes out. So they say you should lay out the sheets before you use them. So since we gotta, they're gonna be going the opposite way, back and forth. But since we gotta cut notches in them and everything, we might have to trim like an inch or two off of it. We're just laying it out in the middle of the floor for now, getting flat. So you can see she's already having to deal with the curve, so we don't want to deal with that when we're trying to glue it down. Probably put some weight down on them. We're gonna roll out the other one right on top of it. Yeah. Try and see. I'm a little farther away. Trying to stay off the floor here. Get glare off it, but yeah, it's gonna look nice. It's textured, so it actually feels like wood grains and everything. So, for a cheap option, I think it's gonna look good. And I just have bags over my feet because my boots are wet. Yeah. And try not to track snow and mud all through it again. Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but yeah, hopefully that'll look really good.